By this point, you have your Google Classroom created and your settings are set so that you and your students are ready to start posting and doing work in Google Classroom. So now it's time to start posting some things in here so people have some things to do. On the stream, this is where you're going to be to make general announcements. So to start uh, a post, all you would do is click here, share something with your class. And these are really just for information, sample, sample posting. So today is May 20th, 2020, and you can also add things to this post. So you can pull things right from your Google Drive, like a, a slides or a sheet or a doc. You can put links, you can attach files like PDF files, or you can add a YouTube video. If you have the URL, you can just pop it in there and the, the video will go right in, or you can even search from videos here. And when you find the video you want, you double click it and it attaches and you can add more than one thing to a post. So let's say you want the kids to start off with a video and you want them to read a particular blog post maybe. Add the link. You can post it right away and it would immediately get pushed out to everybody enrolled in this particular Google Classroom or let's say you're getting this ready the afternoon before and this is for the kids to complete the next morning. You can always schedule a post and you can schedule it for the date. You can schedule the time, schedule it, and then it is up here in your saved announcements that you can go back and edit later before it goes out. Another way you can post in Google Classroom is by going to the Classworks tab up here. And this is where you are going to create, say, questions or assignments. Uh, you can also create tests in here, but that, that'll be a, a whole topic all in itself. Um, so to create a question, say you want to do a poll question. So something really easy like this. Do you like chocolate or white milk? Pick one. So you can have them do a short answer, but you can also just do multiple choice. So if the question is more appropriate to have them fill in their own answer, you can leave it as a short answer, but you can also have multiple choice and they would pick one. And then again, you can ask right away and it would push out to all the kids that are in your Google Classroom in this particular class, or you can schedule it for later. You can also add links, the same thing if you wanted them to watch a YouTube video first before answering the question, or if they need to read a supporting article to be able to answer the question. You, you can add things here to a question too. You can also, again, this will be something for another day, but over here with, with the quizzes, you can assign the number of points, you can give it a due date, and it, it's really helpful and really convenient to gauge, you know, this could be used as an exit slip or something that kids would walk into and complete first thing in your class. So if you've made something and you, you don't like it, you can always click here on the skinny snowman and delete it. If you need to go back and change anything, you always have the option to edit too. But edit, delete, that skinny snowman gives you those options. So that was for a, for a question. You can also just add a material. So if you wanted the kids to have your handbook or a, a document that they're going to refer to all the time, like if you remember the MES hub, that is something that is up here all the time. So I have that in my Google Drive. So I'm going to search for it. And there it is. And then it is attached right here. I can post it immediately. And it's a material that your kids will have access to here in the classwork section of their Google Classroom at, at any time.
Another thing that you'll find helpful about posting in here is to actually give an assignment. So when you click on an assignment, you want to give it a title. You could add some instructions. And if you have something already created, you can absolutely put that in, but you can also create straight from here. So let's say you want to have a document. Kids are going to fill in, fill in a document, write a document, and you're just going to create that assignment right in here. Whatever you need to do, whatever pictures, whatever questions you need to add on here. Always give everything a name, and you'll see why here in a second. And over here, this is how students then get that assignment in Google Classroom. They can view the file, so that means they can't edit anything on the document. Students can edit the file, so that would be one if you want the whole class working on a document together, or maybe you're going to share this with small groups. So you're going to pick six kids and give it to them to, for them to work on. Again, up here in that all students, you can choose who gets the assignment. So maybe this is going to be group work and you want them to all to be able to edit the file together. Or this is an individual assignment and you want to make a copy for each student. So that means they'll each get their own blank copy. It will already have their name on it. And when they turn it into you, it'll have it clearly labeled with their name in the title. So you know who has turned it in and who hasn't. And again, like every other function, you can schedule it. You can assign it immediately. Totally up to you. And that is how to post questions, assignments, and general announcements in Google Classroom.